Hi friends. Well, we're on our way to Costco up in Guadalajara today. Probably going to go to Costco uh, Sam's Club to renew my membership and Home Depot. This is my Acaso Trace One dash cam and this is the rear view uh, simultaneous uh, black and white. If you're interested in the dash cam, it's in my uh, description below. And you can get a discount if you use my code that you click on there. I have to figure out a better way to record an audio conversation. That camera will do it, but with the windows open, it's just too much wind noise. With the windows closed, it's fine. The problem is that you're missing out on a whole bunch of really entertaining conversation from that girl over there to my right. Blowing in the wind! Enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Today we're going to start in Ahihik and go to Hokotepec, but we're not going to go through the city like we've done before. We're going to take the Hokotepec Libramento and then up this road towards Guadalajara to Costco, Home Depot. They're both right in this area here. There is another Costco, it's out here on Vallarta. But uh, we're going to go to this one today. This is the Periferico, a ring road around Guadalajara, and the Home Depot is just inside of the Periferico. There's another way to get to Guadalajara, and that's this way. The airport's about right here. And this puts you into Independencia, main north-south street through the center of Guadalajara. Today, we're going to go this way. This is the Hokotepec Libramento. This time of the year it's really beautiful and green. Hokotepec. I took a close-up of these paintings so that you can see how beautiful they are. That's the church in Hokotepec, La Quinta. Mount Garcia over Lake Chapala. Jesus Criste. Maiz. A fisherman, strawberries, beautiful paintings. This is Hokotepec, Mount Garcia there across the lake, and Lake Chapala extends for 80 kilometers in that direction. I put this in here just so you wouldn't forget my pet peeve. Too many topes in Mexico. This is the intersection that goes off to the right here to a little town called Trojes where my friend Jesus grew up. There's a road that goes through Trojes in back of the mountains on the north side of Lake Chapala between there and the Lake Cahitlan and it goes all the way to the other road that goes to Guadalajara. It requires four-wheel drive, and I did that in my Suzuki Sidekick while I still had it down here in Mexico. It's a really interesting drive. It takes about an hour to get to Guadalajara this way, and most of it is four lanes, but there's this little town of Molino where a couple of miles of two-lane highway slows you down. I call Molino a one topi town because there's only one and it's one of those that you can go over without totally coming to a stop. Oh, I'm talking about topis. For those of you who might not know what that is, it's a speed bump. As we climb out of Molino here on the two-way road, it soon turns back into four lanes. It's a pretty steep climb. As we get to the top, the view opens up. You can see a great long distance. Off to the left, beautiful view. This is the intersection where it runs into 15D, the autopista. 
And if you go left from here, you get to the ocean in 150 kilometers, and it's a toll road. You run into a toll booth real soon. There's no toll booth turning right and going up into Guadalajara. I want you to notice that there's a stop sign down here. Wait for it. It's right there to the left. In 20 years, I've never seen anybody stop at that stop sign. So we're on 15D, the autopista, uh, going into Guadalajara. Well, it always amuses me when I get subscriber comment questions about, well, where do you buy your furniture? Or uh, where are you going to get printer ink? Or uh, do they have a dry cleaner? <laughs> Guadalajara is a city of five million people and uh, anything you want in a modern world is available. Here we are, we're arriving at Costco, the mega store there on the left is a huge big grocery store and well they sell everything not just groceries. Uh, if you're from the Pacific Northwest it's like a big Super Freddie Myers or a Super Walmart, but this is Costco. There's always lots of guys in the parking lot to help you. There are a couple of Costcos in Guadalajara. This is the one on Lopez Mateos South. Here we are at Costco, Guadalajara. If you've been in a Costco anywhere else, you're not going to find this much different, except that $54,000 TV is pesos, and it would only be, I calculated it, $2,895 for a 70-inch TV. I recently got some really strong magnets from Amazon and I'm using them to hook my GoPro on the cart. Pretty much we'll just your standard works. Costco. Kirkland products. Not significantly different than anything I've ever seen in the United States. Good meat selection. Got all of the popular animals to eat represented. Samples just like any other Costco. Toilet paper. We get toilet paper, Kleenex, and oh, is this camera working or not? Rechargeable batteries, cheese pizzas, new sheets for my bed, bacon, black coarse ground black pepper, organic cashews, clamato, toilet paper, Kleenex, calabasa sausages with garlic, Hamburger, salami, 3,757 pesos came out to a little less than $200. Next stop, Sam's Club to renew my membership before I leave for the States. This Sam's has a Walmart right next to it. And again, it's not significantly different than a Sam's Club in the United States. And getting back on to Lopez Mateos, that's the name of this busy street, can be a challenge. The challenge isn't that there are so many cars, the challenge is that they're driving so fast. And like you just saw that motorcycle, they cut in and out. Now we're getting off on a side street. These are called laterals in Mexico, when it's off of the main street. 
That's a Coca-Cola distribution plant on the right there. And we pull into the Home Depot parking lot. It's a Saturday, so it's going to be busy here. Lynn stayed in the van and had a little nap while I was shopping at Home Depot. When I came back, I woke her up with a dish of ice cream. We're on our way home now. As we go around this corner, you see the traffic on the freeway there. That's the Periferico, the ring road that goes all the way around Guadalajara. It can be very busy. It can be five, six lanes going each direction in some places. And Mexicans seem to have a way when it's busy, and it's usually busier during the week than it is today on Saturday on the weekend, they seem to have a way of making a sixth or a seventh lane in some places off to the side. That ramp would take you back north on Lopez Mateos, back to Home Depot. We're taking the clover leaf around here to merge with Lopez Mateo going south. So we'll be going straight south out of Guadalajara the same way we came in. I noticed on the way up here that the traffic was a lot heavier going out of the city than coming in, and it looks like it's still going to be that way today. Makes sense that a lot more people are leaving the city on Saturday than coming in. Some bad news in Mexico. They have a Denny's now in Guadalajara. Pips, Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. But a Denny's? Come on. Okay. Should we roll up the windows and see if we can have a little conversation? Uh, close your wing. Close it all the way. Thank you. We left it like that with a whistle. I had to stop and pull off the road and go fix it. Oh, poor you. Yeah, poor me. <laughs> and it's not even a bad speed dump. Well, this is it right here. Whoop de doo. <laughs> what do we say when we're in the motorhome? Whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. what we say when we play that card game baseball. What we say when we're in the motorhome is Whee! Remember? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All together now on three, okay? Yeah. One, two, Whee! No, jeez. You forgot the plan. One more time on three, we're gonna Whee! Okay? One, two, three, whee! Oh, I did. No, no, I can't, I can't quit that on YouTube. <laughs> Where's the off button on the camera? Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.